do I search in the new system? Well, it's very simple. You don't even have to log in. You don't have to type in a whole piece of information about the book. So the book is called uh, When I Was a Little Girl. You don't have to type all that in. If you want to search on any search screen, you just go up to the top right, okay, and you type in one word, girl. And what that will do, that will bring up every book that has the word girl somewhere in it. This is this advanced search. You can just close that and you can go, no, I want uh, to search disco. B. You can add more than one word. Okay. And what that will do, it look for all the words that all the books that have the word disco and or baby in it. Okay. So that's where you search. So searching has not changed. Okay. If you log in, you have a lot more options, okay? But you can say, but I don't want to log in. I'm just looking for Disco Baby, and I've got all of these things. I've got Disco Baby, then I've got Baby, then, you know, and on and on it goes. So it gives you the most relevant items up to the front and then least relevant, just like Google. When you search for something in Google, the first page or so will be all relevant to your search. Then the next page is what Google thinks is relevant for you. That's exactly what we're doing. We're doing a Google search of your database. So you put your search term here. Okay. But I want to do an advanced search. So you that's the button you press to download that and go, now what do you want to search? Well, I didn't want baby anywhere in the bibliography. I want it in the title. So you come down here and you choose the area. I want the title. And the title I want is baby. OK, so I'm saying do a title search with the word baby and free text baby search. That's going to give up all the books that have baby in the title. OK, but you go, no, 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 no. I want the title that starts with the word baby. This is advanced searching. You don't have to do this. You could have just put baby there and you might get 100 items that have that. And you can then manually choose or you can say, no, the title starts with the word baby, okay? And now you go search, and you'll only get the books with the title starting with baby. Then you can go, no, I want the title contains the word baby. It could be at the start, it could be the finish, it could be in the middle, it could be anywhere. Search, and all these books now have the word baby somewhere in it, okay? But it's only in the title. So what you can do, Free text means anywhere in uh, the title. It must be equal to baby. So if you go, no, the title must be equal to baby. When I search, it says, sorry, you don't have a title of any book called baby. Okay. But I go, oh, what about contains the word baby? Search. And there you go. Okay. We can close that searching down. And that's how that works. Now you might turn around and say, well, let me do an advanced search, and the title must contain the word baby, okay? And uh, the media, well, uh, oh, sorry, that's the sort by. So we'll go plus, so the title must contain baby, and any other field must contain the word DVD. Now, I could have said, no, not any other. The location has to be DVD or the sublocation has to be DVD. I'm saying no. It must have the word title in uh, baby in the title and anywhere else must have the word DVD. Now you can do a search. Okay. So there you go. So these are DVDs and they've got title baby, contain the word baby somewhere. You can say, no, no, the title mustn't contain baby. The title must start with the word baby and because i press the plus it says and the uh the uh all field somewhere anywhere must have the word dvd now i do search and that house that's an advanced search okay that's an advanced search the difference between and the advanced search i can go and say baby dvd so you're saying, give me all the books that have these two words in it. 
And now you can go search. And it's saying, all right, if they've got baby, I'm going to give it to you. If it's got DVD, I'm going to give it to you. Okay, so that's a simple search to go to the advanced search and you can build. You can say title starts with the word baby. Any other field can have the word DVD. And I want you to look in uh, the location of library. So the library has to have, uh, must contain, and the library must contain, and you can go in here and say, the library must contain um, book. Okay, now what will happen is if you do that kind of a search, you're telling it the title starts with baby, any other field must have DVD, and the location or sublocation, depending what you've chosen here, I could have chosen sublocation, has to contain the word book in it. Okay, and you can keep building your advanced search, or you can go, you know what? I'm not interested. I just want any book that has baby and DVD. And I do a search. And if I click on that, it will bring up that item for you, Inspector Montalabano. Okay. And there's all the bibliographic information. If you want to find out uh, what is all this stuff on the side, well, it said, well, you search for and you click on this particular title. Let me show you, there's a lot of artificial intelligence that comes in here. What it's going to do is say, show me all the other books that are either similar to this one. And I'll go, oh, well, based on, you, on this, let me go and bring up this book. And there's a bibliography for that one. It's a DVD set. Okay. Or you can turn around and say, you know what? What about this book? And it'll bring up this book okay and if there's no items found it'll tell you no items found so the bottom line is when you're researching just go to the top right hand side italy and it'll give you everything that's got italy and don't assume that's all there is to it let me close this advanced search you can scroll down it load the next page and you scroll down and load the next page if there is any more okay and scroll down and load the next page. And that's all there is to it. Very simple to search. Well, what are all these? Well, if I click on the media, it'll tell you, you can look at the archival box, you can look at this, you can look at essay, but they're really not that helpful for you because you can say, oh, let's have a look at the author. So ABC television, and now it's giving you all the ABC televisions with that in there. Or you go, what about this author? And they'll show you all the books for that author with the word Italian in it. Okay. And you can go more authors. Okay. Or you can go show me the editors in there. Or you can just, okay. And there's the, so give me anything with that editor. Okay. So it hasn't got anything with that author that you chose and that editor. So what you can do is you can get rid of that, do a new search and go search anything with Italian, then you can come back here and say, all right, what about uh, this editor? Okay, so the search is very simple. You put in a word or a number of words, you click the search and you'll get it. Okay, now I'm doing all of this without logging into the system. You can see it's asking me to log in. I'm not logged in at all. So when you send an, a letter out to all your patrons, your, you know, your borrowers, your friends, or you want to promote it to the Italian community, all you need to do is give them this web address, okay? And what will happen? Let me get rid of everything else. So you send them that and say, just put that in your browser and hit enter. And when it comes up, go to the top right-hand side and put in... Uh, a search word in there, and it will bring up any resources you have with that word in there. Well, well, where's that word? Is it in the title? Is it in the notes? No, no. 
That's just a simple search. If you want to say, no, I want that word in the title or in the notes, you click that. And all fields, we go, no, I want the title with the word Paris anywhere. So that's it. Okay. The title has the word Paris and it could be anywhere in the title. Okay. And you can get more complex by adding other fields. That's the advanced search. Okay. But in your case, simple search there without logging in. Remember, I'm not logged in. So why do I have to log in to do a search? That's the subject of my next video.